Young Riders is back for another exciting summer show jumping season. The Young's going to be really competitive this season. I'm super excited. I've only heard good things. And this time, we have some of the toughest competition ever. you got to do what you got to do to try and get a clear round. I think he'll be hard to beat. But after a year of rain... Lovely and wet. A little bit boggy, but he works with it. Our new riders need to put in some serious mahi. Keep your inside leg. You know, I've got a lot of things to work on. Come on, rhythm. To be ready for their first show. <laughs> Not ring time. I'm kind of nervous and I haven't even walked the course yet. There's going to be ups. I felt like I was flying. That's the glasses, that's what it was. And downs. That leaves me without a young rider horse. And a whole heap of fun. Horses, 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 every day. Follow our young riders' journey as we tack up, hack and jump from the start to the end of the 23-24 season. The 2023-24 show jumping season is about to start, but after the wettest 18 months in Aotearoa's history and some extreme weather events, just making it to the start gate is proving to be a ride in itself for our young riders. It has been so wet last season. We had quite a lot of shows cancelled and we definitely had to learn to ride through the mud. We couldn't really do much with the horses because the weather was just so bad and the arena was flooded and it was just really hard to get them work. You don't really want to ride them in the rain. One, you get really wet, and two, there's a chance of them slipping over and injuring themselves. The Rotorua Spring Show is held at the National Equestrian Centre in Taupo. It's the first major event for the 23-24 show jumping season for our young riders. Slinky, he gets quite nervous, especially when you like start bringing out the truck and packing things. You can see his mood will change. We all settle down and we're swear off. He knows his job and he loves it. He's like pretty competitive horse. Here we go, we're set. The competition starts tomorrow, but arriving early gives the riders a chance to do a practice round and familiarise themselves with the arena. Lou, I think, is going to be my main horse this season. This is his first season at Young Riders. He's a nine year old gelding. Super fun to ride, and I think he'll be hard to beat. It's not ring time, it's not ring time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mr. Nosy, you're gonna fuck up the camera. Having a grey horse is not for the weak. You have to deal with them being green and orange and having poo on their face and their ears seven days a week. Don't bite my butt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Big down when dog stretches. He's to his stretches every morning. Can't have a ride without them. I started Blue off through the winter season, jumping him small and building him back up. But I also haven't done a jump off for a while, so I think that might be a bit of a surprise for him when I ask him to go a bit faster. I like to train him around the top of the height so that he kind of knows what's coming for him. Metre 50. So the biggest I have to jump in a young ride is a metre 40. I just want to make sure he's feeling super confident and rearing to go. I've got Octi. She's a 10-year-old mare that I've had since she was five. She was my top horse, but she's been out with injury for a couple years. She had a sprained coffin joint. And then a year ago, she shattered her ishim, which is like a bone done here. Hopefully she will be a first young rider in nearly two and a half years. Then quite back up your tummy. We call it bellying them when she takes them with her stomach because she rolls them because she's just not quite jumping big enough. Ooh. That was big. Last year I was seventh in the young rider overall and that was only with one horse. So pretty confident for being in the top 20. 
When I'm not riding horses, I'm here. I'm an intermediate hairstylist. I cut the horse's mane dry. But yeah, very different. I wouldn't want to cut a horse hair the same way as I would cut human hair. You can't section up horses' manes, and you want it to. You want to cut it to where it naturally falls. Show jumping etiquette is for horses to have a very neat presentation, which is why manes are often trimmed or plaited. And just keep kind of brushing it, but not forcing it down like this, because if you force it down like this, it's got a cowlick here, so it would pop up and stick to the wrong side. And they just look a lot more loved. Blue, <laughs> you're down. A couple yards down, Amy's horse Slinky is also seeking attention. He's a little 16 year old, very quirky guy, like very high maintenance. Everything sort of revolves around his little regime and what he needs to keep happy, but you know, we love him, we do it for him. We're gonna go off on a hack across the road in the forest, give him a little stretch out change of scenery. Since it's been so wet, we've been struggling to like get him out. We can't use our back paddocks yet to canter him around, so it's been a bit hard getting him fit enough, but I think we're slowly getting there. I got Slinky to about three years ago. He was eventing. He had qualified for the Tokyo Olympics, but he just wasn't relaxed enough in the dressage or didn't have good enough changes. This is Aqua. Um, she's just seven. She was the first young horse that I've had. Slinky has attachment issues, pretty much. So Slinky needs Aqua with him all the time. We've just had them at Jump Club, trying to get him out of like eventing ways, getting him to jump more round rather than flat, which they're used to in the cross country. This season, it's just being competitive, getting results I want on Slinky and developing Aqua. But in the future, I'd just love to be overseas representing New Zealand. With the show starting first thing tomorrow morning, the remaining competitors roll in to corral their steeds. This is Sam, she doesn't really like travelling. She gets a bit grumpy and tries and bites everyone else. So I've got Stella. I'm doing the young on her this weekend. She's a year older than Annie's mare, and they're full sisters. That's quite cool that my best mate Annie has got full sister. Stella knows that she's here for a show, 100% knows she's here to compete. In keeping with the year of wet weather, even more rain kicks in as the last truck arrives with seasoned young riders, the Carrington sisters from Central Hawke's Bay. This is Harry, he's oh, my young rider horse. Harry, <laughs> he's a stallion but he's doesn't act like one. He acts like a little pony club pony. <laughs> he did the seven-year-olds last season, so I guess he's quite confident around that height these days. Harry's favourite two things in life, girls and eating. <laughs> this is Gilbert. He's my main horse for the season. He's nine. Dilly loves the stable life. <laughs> This is my fifth season doing Young Riders, and it is my last. I was third one year in the series, and then I won it the next year. Gilbert's done well as well. This will be his second season doing Young Riders for me. If he was a person, he'd be a pretty boy, hair slicked back. I don't think I'd be friends with Gilbert if he was a person, to be honest. <laughs> Out there today, we were just giving them a wee play over the jumps and cavalettis. For me, always working on rideability. Good to keep the eye in. We don't like to jump big at home. I'm more focused on Harry's fitness and a bit of fine tuning, I guess. <laughs> well, this is my first season really focusing on the youngs. I guess everyone wants to be quite competitive, but I just want to be really consistent. Me and Kim don't ride in the arena too much together, but when we do, it's never great. We kind of just, like, annoy each other, get in the way. I'm not easygoing. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm a lot more chilled out than, 
than Sam when it comes to jumping? I think we're supportive, but we also openly want to beat each other. <laughs> Kim's for sure a big threat. I'd say she'd be real good in the bigger young riders. I don't know why, but it's just a thing of his that every time he gets worked, he has to have a roll. <laughs> I know him quite well, and he knows me quite well. I guess we know each other's idiosyncrasies. <laughs> me, horses are kind of like a hobby. They're not like a career. So I shepherd, and I love it. It's really good fun. I love the lifestyle. This is Copper. I've had her since she was a pup, so she's pretty special to me. Pip, she's a hunt away. And Mouse on the end. Horses are a huge part of my life. I'm here at 24-7. Plenty of horses to ride. Got mums, young ones, to help break them in. I also get in other horses from other people to ride and make some money so I can pay for my own ones. One of the horses I'll be schooling today, he's a four-year-old, and we'll just be doing a little bit of flat work. The end this year of rain drove Sam away from her horses to seek work in the sunshine. Last season, it kind of finished really abruptly because of the floods, so yeah, I packed the track and went overseas. <laughs> I was working for Irish show jumper Connor Swale. He's quite high up in the rankings at the moment. Doing a little bit of riding, but mainly grooming. Trip around the shows, started in Florida, then finished up in Canada at Spruce Meadows, which was an incredible experience. And yeah, can't wait to go back. <laughs> It's day one at the Rotorua Spring Show. Oh, the rain's coming down. Despite it bucketing down, spirits remain high. In the outside arena, Derek and Watermoo. Oh wait, that's me. Are starting our season on the lower level jumps to gain some experience before we move up to the higher classes. He's feeling sprightly. A bit of energy in him today. Uh, the class that I'm about to go in is the meter 10. I think it's just an open meter 10. I'm feeling a bit nervous, to be honest. I don't even know why. I woke up at 2 a.m. and I got everything sorted out, got it loaded up, and then we started the trip down from Auckland to Taupo. I'm about to do the 90 class, feeling pretty confident. The course looks pretty nice. Man, I'm just going to full send day. Like, whatever happens, happens. Oh. Around, the, around the corner. Two, three. Good boy. In the indoor arena, competitors for the young rider class are walking their course. Being indoors, everything is a lot more close together and compact, which makes everything come up a lot faster. My aim was just to walk the course and decide if it was too much of a push for us. It's the biggest I'd ever jumped, so I was quite nervous walking the course. But I walked it with Sam, and it was nice walking it with Sam Carrington. I just told her, trust your instincts, don't muck around, just get the job done pretty much. As this is a Grand Prix show, all the jumps are measured from a metre 25 to 135, starting with the Oxa at number one. The indoor arena makes a tight and windy course with a one stride double at 4 AMB and another at 8 AMB, finishing on a related line from nine to 10. There's two rounds in show jumping. If you go clear in the first round, you get into the jump off. The fastest clear round in the jump off wins. It's a pretty easy horse today. There isn't really any questions. It's mainly just keeping your horse on a rhythm. Lots of connective lines, but they're pretty nice striding. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Riders can enter two horses in the young rider class, but they can only score points from the horse they nominate. I'm going to nominate Blue because he's so clean and he only ever takes a rail if I make a mistake. First to jump in the young rider class is newcomer Liv. She has turned up out of the blue. This is her first time jumping these heights. My game plan at Rotorua was honestly just to do a clear round and see how it went because it was my first young rider. Good effort, Liv. Clear on your first ever young rider. It's pretty good for a start. Next to go is Sophia on blue. 
blue as soon as he gets in the ring and the bell goes, he just launches forward and there's like nothing else can bother him. One. For Blue, I was so proud of him. He couldn't have jumped any better. Good boy. Especially for his first young rider. Cool. He was super confident and got all the strides perfectly. It was amazing. <laughs> we were going all right. He was jumping good. And we came round and I went to go, he added in. And we literally demolished a jump. Knocking this jump down will cost Amy, making it into the jump off. So it's disappointing because it was a pretty small, easy track for him and he's prepped pretty well for it. But something we need to work on, like a bit of more communication between each other. Into the ring comes Samantha the dash jump. Four and four A and clear B. I just got a little long to the double and we had that down. The last fence always seems to get me, but she jumped pretty good. Me and her second time jumping that height, so pretty pleased. That means Annie won't be making it into the jump off either. Let's see if her bestie Tessa gets through with Stella and their first ever young rider. Stella, she's 16, two hands, and last season was my first season with her. Yeah. My mum kind of dropped a bomb on me and was like, do you want to ride Stella? And I was like, oh. like, yeah. It was quite hard at first because Stella had been used to the way my mum had been like riding her. But over the last season, we've built a good connection together. Riding bareback really helps with my balance. And it's great that we can do that. Stella doesn't really think twice about anything. She's pretty bomb-proof. Awesome. Before going in, I was thinking of what could happen. Once I went through the start flags, everything just came back to me. And I was just focusing on the next jump. It's a clear run for Tessa and her horse, Stella. I was stoked that I went clear. Like, I couldn't have asked for more from Stella. Rider of Double J Typhoon is Kimberly Harrington. Harry's almost too chill. Like, you have to wake him up when you go into the ring, otherwise he's just, like, away with the fairies. <laughs> Through the flag. Clear one. Clear two. Probably wasn't the tightest round. <laughs> he was good. I was a bit rusty. I got round to that thing. We were clear that bit of room for improvement, I'd say. Kilbert's jumping really well. He's jumping up so much. We're barely making it down the lines. He's clearing them by miles. That means both Carrington sisters are through to the jump off. As is Sophia on her second horse, Octi. Now with the jump off, things start to get serious. I love the competitive side of show jumping. It's not judged on anyone's opinion. It's all up to you and your horse. And if you get into the jump off, you've got to go for it. Liv and Lila are first to go in the jump off. I have a very competitive side to me, so when I got into the jump off, I thought, why not give it my all? It was a really short and tight jump off, and she just operates in that arena. Approaching the last with no fall. <laughs> Next is Sophia on her nominated horse, Blue. 
She studied Liv's around closely. Bloody good job, Liv. She had me on my toes the whole round. I don't know how she got over them, honestly. It was scaring me. The first rollback was the first question, whether you were going to put your foot down or not. And then the biggest question in the course, I think, was the skinny blue oxa roll back to the double. It's the slightest little movements that make a difference. My brain slipped, and then I reached forward to grab it, and he turned, and then the turn was just gone. And the whole round was just gone out the window after that. Good boy. I should have seen that coming. I'm so mad at myself. Our next one to go is Double Gary Typhoon, Kimberly Carrington. Through the flag. Jump off was good. I was quite impressed with him. He's pretty confident over that height. I fronted him up quite a bit and tried to go for it, and he reacted to it really well. With knowledge of her sister Kim's time, Sam has the advantage of trying to beat it. The first half of the course was good, and then just before the double, I took an extra pull, which I didn't need to take, and kind of mucked that up, so I probably lost a second or so there. But he jumped good. It was jockey error. Our next one to go is WP Stella, Tessa Mason. Through the start, clear six. Because it was my first young ever, I wasn't going for fast. Whoa! I was just going to stay confident and go for a clear round. Yeah, the last with no pole. I never imagined jumping double clear in my first young, so it's pretty cool. She's a really easy ride, and I trust her a lot, so it's a big confidence boost having a horse that you can trust. And finally, Sophia on her other horse, Octi. Will she do better than her nominated horse, Blue? We went as fast as we could. Was not fast enough, but that was all we had in the tank. But she tried so hard. I'm so proud of her. 30.8, but the winning times were in, like, 26. Which is what Liv got on Lila. A clear win for this first-time team. It set me up really well for the rest of the season and gave me the confidence that I needed that we were able to do those heights. Third, Sam Carrington. Bet the sister, so that's the main goal of the day. Fourth, Kimberly Carrington. I'm pretty happy. It was very close. I'll try to get her next time. <laughs> Sixth, Sophia Blackbourne. I was not expecting that much of a competitive jump off this early in the season, but everyone was out to win it today, that's for sure. Sam takes the lead of the Young Rider Series, with Liv and Kim hot on her heels. Sophia's sixth place moves her up to eighth equal. Next time... Do the mahi get the treats? Some of us get to go to the North Island Development Camp. Oh, keep going. Don't let her do that. Good getting a different perspective from a different coach. No clicking and training. That's what your leg seat and hands are for. And can Tessa and Brownie sort out their differences? Kia ora, NZ on air. Ha, 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 ha.